guys, nice to see you. Today, we are going to learn about maths together again. So, I've seen that you're going to love math, right? It's a really fun way for us. So, let's get started. Today, we're going to learn about multiple and divide by 10, 100, and 1,000. So, this lesson is going to be very, very interesting. And later, there will be another video if you want. So, here are the quiz that we're going to do today. But let's just start with the explanation and instructions first. Okay, so when we multiply something with 10, that means that it's getting 10 times bigger. If we multiply it by 100, it gets 100 times bigger. And same 2,000. When we multiply 1,000 with something like that, it gets 1,000 bigger like that. So it's like, but we could do a decimal too. That means like a chart here. So let's just say that you might be wondering. So we already have four of these already. Why do we need tens, hundreds, and thousands with THS anymore? So that means that this one, this one, this one, okay? This one, we stop from this part because the ones are in both sides, guys, okay? So one side here has only S. That means that it's going up. But the other side, it's going down. That means that one side is multiplied, another side is divided. So why didn't you see? So let's just give an example like, Maybe multiply by 10 first, okay? And then we'll multiply to bigger numbers, such as this. Like that. And there are lots of numbers which we can use. So let me write it out for you. So this one, we're going to write first. So here we go. So first, I'm going to grab a tissue in case we need to erase. So 5 and 3. Here we go. 5 and 3. You see this one? But we're going to move one square first. So that means that 3 is not going to be in 1's place, but 5 is not going to be in 10's, but 5 is going to be in the 100's, 3 is going to be in 10, and no one's in the 1's. So we just add 1. You see? We just add 1. So the answer is going to be 5. Okay, so here's, here's the multiplications one, and this is how we do the decimal together. So now why don't we try a dividing one? A dividing one is just the same, but we don't do it on this side, but we do it on this side. Instead. So let me give you one one of it. So let me see. Oh, okay. So I'll give you this. All right, down here. So let's say I think I'm going to choose this one. The easiest, the easy ones before we get to the hard one. So this one. So it's like when we multiply together. So now we're going to do this decimal together. So here we go. There are three, two, three, zero. So we'll write two, three, zero. Okay. So two is here. Three is here. Zero is here. We don't have one more zero at all. But we're dividing. Dividing means that we don't have a zero anymore. Right, guys? So we only erase one of it. So the answer is going to be 20. So we understand the decimal already. So why don't we do some other equations instead of just this one? So let's just do a little summary, okay? So let's just say that when we multiply by 10, we will always, when it's, we multiply it, it'll get 10 times bigger. When we multiply by 100, it'll get 100 times bigger. But if we multiply by 1,000, it'll get 1,000 times bigger than like that. So it's really a lie. But when you, we don't need this chart at all. When you go to a test, when you have a test about this, you don't need a paper at all. So there's a simple trick that you only need only two seconds and then you'll have the answer already. Or maybe just one second. So here is the trick. So what do you look? Here's a zero, right? And here's the, so here's the one. So we just need to add it together. So we got the answer 230. Wait yeah, up, it's really easy. So you have to count how many zeros, there are two zeros. That means that we'll take the first number and not how much zeros is there at the behind. So you understand now? So if you, this one's a really quick trick. You just need to do, you could do any of this one. All right, only one second to finish it. This one was three, so we add three zeros. So it's 5,300. Oh, I just need to add one more. There, and um, and goes to the same as this one. There's another simple trick too. So count both of them. If both of them have the same zeros, the number of zeros, like both of them are two, we just need to erase. We just need to erase this, and then poof, there's your answer. It's twenty-three. And if it has, um, if it has more zeros, like they add a zero here, you just need to erase one zero of how much this number has. Like that. So if I add one more zero here, it will be three hundred twenty. So that means we just add one more zero. We just need to 
write the same number like this, add one more zero, add two zeros, like this. We just need to add as much as we could, like that, you see? Really easy. This one, there are no zeros here, only one in the tens place, but we don't care about that. We just need to write the same number, zero, four, and then put how, how many zeros here, that's the answer. You see? So next one, this one will choose. There's only this, but there are two zeros here. So there are two zeros here means that there's going to be two zeros. So it's this one. So next one, this one has only one zero. So it's not the difference. It's kind of easier. So it's this one. Really quick, don't you think? So now we're matched the answer. So this one's definitely going here because they have three here the same. Next one, this one is going to be, there are two zeros. So definitely A and Yes, we are correct. This this lesson is real easy. But just don't need, you don't need to remember the basics at all. Just remember the simple trick that I taught you. And it will be easier. Oh dear. This one is one more. So you might think that so we just need to add one more and poof. Two are there. But actually, we have to add three because there's only one, but there are two here, so two plus one equals three. So three zeros to go. Next one. So this one's time to divide. So both of them, there are two zeros here, two zeros here, but now we divide them on, on the, this one, this last. And don't freak out because we almost mistake that it's not going to have three, but it do have three. So this one, there are three here and three here. So that means that we, there are only this one. That's the answer. You see, guys? Pretty easy. Now we just need to, there are one here and one here. So we only need to, there are this thing, this one. This one's the correct one. You see, we're getting really good at this, right? Next time, maybe we'll do a higher level later. Because it's so good, and you're doing so well. So this one, there are three here, and three here, so there's only left 145. You see, we're done already. And we got 100, and we got 100. Well done, guys, but now we don't need the okay. So this one's kind of difficult, but it's really easy too, guys. But we just need to find which number that we multiply together. But this one, we have to, mo we have to remember the multiplication board first. So, Five, do this. It doesn't make any sense, right? It will take it longer and longer. So that means that there's only one chance. Five multiplied to two is ten. And this one multiplies to ten is going to be here, yeah, guys. So it's really easy. This one's a quicker way to do it. If you ever had this, or you just need to find them. Huh? Which ones could multiply to ten, hundred, one hundred, maybe one thousand, or something that is that's always have a zero at the back. So that means that it's A. You see, the first one we're correct. This one's the same. We only add one more zero because five multiplied to two is ten. And six hundred multiplied with ten, we add one more. So let's see. This one is correct. You see? So next one. This one is a, a I think this one's a square. A square has a length of four hundred centimeters. And we have to think we have to find this one one and let you know this so this is kind of difficult right but we all solve it out together so first they ask us so you know that a square all the edges are the same right all the edges are the same but what does it get to do with the lesson that we learned so this one's a higher level for you but you have to think so this one you see that one's that one of the size one of the size is 400 centimeters and they're asking this one so that means that we have to multiply together to get one okay guys so this one's this one you have noticed the difference already okay so here's so here's meters but here is centimeters so we have to change the centimeters into meters so it's only four meters okay so now we know how to do this we just multiply with the same ones because we know that both of the size of the square is always the same so we'll just multiply with four so that's the same one so it's only 16. no difference this one is that a ship has 35, I think, packages, and, and let's see, let me read first, okay, mm -hmm. okay, this one says that they, they use about from 26 to 35 so that they can deliver packages to the factories and companies, but most, but most of them are really alive, they could only hold a 50 of something like that, but I don't know how to pronounce it at all, right. so asking how many of these kilograms I, I would just have to say kilograms because I don't know this yet. And we have to find it first. So this one is both 
of the same. And we know that 35 packages, meaning 35 ships, I mean. And and it also says that the people used 26 to 35, 35 ships to carry the cargo. So, and most of them are can only carry this much. So, so, so two from these, from 26 to 35, how, how much could they carry? So probably a lot, don't you think? So let's check it out. This one I finally understand. So maybe let's just say that we have to count the cargoes from 26 to 35. So there are 10, okay? So we use 10 and multiply with 15 of this, and then we'll have the answer. It's 115. You see, it's correct. So this one is the same. But this one adds us to 45. It's the same one, so we have to count. So 26. 20, 26 one, we're going to say that if we minus this or we discount it, it will be 20, right? It will be 20, but this one don't have anything to multiply with, so we only have 20 multiplied with 10. So it's going to be 20 here. It's one more, 200. You see? This one is that, let me read it. Okay, okay, okay. So this one is as us to say that on a street, or we could say that on a road like that, is the length of it is 900 meters, and at 10 meters, like 10 meters, there'll be a light, a lamp there. So they ask that if there are two, two, that means that two places at the end of this, at the end of the road, you know, always have a lamp. So how many, how many lamps are there on the road? So this one, let's up knows that. This one's the same one, so we don't need to change anything, right? We don't need to change anything first. And we know that the like of it is this much, right? So it's like, we're well, first, we can't multiply, right? We can't multiply at all. We had to divide it. But first, if we divide it, it's only 90. But wait, we forgot. On each end, there are one more, so it has to be plus more one. So it's 91. You see? So now, oh, yeah, maybe this is not difficult at all, guys, because... This one is 850. 850 is here, plus where two more. Two more is here. So the answer is there. Easy peasy. So next one. This one we're going to multiply first because both of them you know if you learned it already, maybe in third grade, I think third grade, you might learn this because if it's in some if it's in some comments, we'll do it in the comments first. But if it's a plus or a minus, we'll do it later. So this one doesn't have anything but how to multiply and divide. That means that we just do it. So this one multiplies is this much. But if we divide it, it's only here. Okay. You see? So this one is, let's me read. Oh, okay, I know this one. It's the, my friend Robot is, has 10 laps around the yard. And every lap is 100 meters. And But every day, Robot always runs like that. And so the 20, 20 days. And... And it's as that, how many did he, how many kilometers did he run? So, this one, first of all, do that first. So, do, so you might be, this one's really easy. So first, we just need to take 20 days, and we know every day, every day in one day, that means that he runs 10 laps around the yard. And every lap, every lap that he runs is 10 meters, so we just need to multiply together. So this one's 200, 200 multiplied with this, it's going to be a lot, right? Oh dear, oh dear, we got so caught up that we forgot to change it. It's a kill math, but here's only met. So, this was incorrect. So sorry everyone, but luckily we're only wrong one. Next one, must be careful. So this one, let's see what it does. Oh, kill matters, but this one's met. So we have to change it, right? We have to change it. And it's about three. It's three. This one's three, and it's still the same, but we change it. But it has three miles. Every day, he runs three miles in ten lap and one lap. So here has 10 days. So we only multiply with this, with this first, with this first. It's about 30, 30, okay? 30, then we divide. We don't have to divide. Do we? Have okay, but we forgot. We don't need to divide at all. So the answer is definitely this. Yes, we're correct. Well, well done, guys. You have to be right today. See you next time.